Today, we are going to be talking about Esquire Group's U.S. estate tax blocker solution. I'm going to be using this whiteboard to put up some information about it. I'm new to using a whiteboard, so if it's not so smooth what I'm writing or it's spelled wrong or I trip over my words when I'm writing, bear with me. I'll get better at it as time goes on. So, I'm going to tell you something that a lot of people don't know. And that is that non-resident aliens, which for U.S. tax purposes are basically non-Americans, foreigners, are liable for U.S. estate tax on U.S. stocks that they own. U.S. stocks are considered U.S. property for U.S. estate tax purposes. And so even if they're owned by a foreigner, the fair market value of those stocks at the time of death are going to be subject to U.S. estate tax at rates of up to 40%. So you could be a Spaniard living in Spain, never having been to the United States, but owning stocks in the United States. And if you die owning those stocks, you're liable for U.S. estate tax. And this is a bigger problem than you might think because 35% of all U.S. publicly listed companies are owned by foreigners. Almost every single portfolio in the whole world, whether self-managed or professionally managed, contains U.S. stocks. So this is a huge issue that most people are unaware of and it's not until they die and their heirs go to inherit the stock portfolio that they discover this immense problem and this huge tax bill that's going to be due. So I'm going to give you an example of how this works, okay? So let's assume for a second that Jesus has a portfolio of U.S. stocks worth $1.5 million when he dies. The U.S. is going to give him a $60,000 estate tax exclusion. So that means $1.44 million is going to be subject to 40% estate tax. Now, so I don't have to do the math in my head. I actually wrote this down. So that equals $576,000 in U.S. estate tax, leaving Jesus' heirs with $924,000. Now, $924,000 is nothing to sneeze at, but it's certainly a lot less than the $1.5 million that they could have inherited had Jesus done a little bit of planning to make sure that his heirs don't get stuck with this huge estate tax bill. Uh, and the solution to this problem is pretty simple. We've done it, we've been doing it for people for years. It works great. And here's, what, here's how it works. We set up a Rack ICC company for you. And I'll get into what Rack ICC company is in, in, in a minute. But we set up a Rack ICC company for you which is a non-U.S. corporation, okay? It's a non-U.S. corporation for U.S. tax purposes. And we put your entire portfolio in this Rack ICC company, okay? Now, the Rack ICC company owns all of your U.S. stocks. And the only thing you own are the shares to this Rack ICC company. Because this Rack ICC company is not a U.S. company, its shares are not considered U.S. property. They're foreign property, and they're not subject to U.S. estate tax. So, assuming you die, you would die owning the shares in your Rack ICC company, not the shares in the U.S. stocks. So, all you have to do is transfer your Rack ICC company shares to your heirs. And... Because Rack ICC companies are located in the UAE where there is no income or estate tax, the transfer of those Rack ICC company shares to your heirs is going to be tax-free in, in, in the UAE. 
Now the other ad advantage of this is you get some additional benefits from the Rack ICC company in addition to just these tax savings. So first of all, Rack ICC, 0% income tax in the UAE, 0% estate tax in the UAE. You also have privacy. The UAE RAC ICC does not have public beneficial owner registers. They do have a private beneficial owner register, but it'd be very difficult for somebody to find out who owns and manages this RAC ICC company. You get asset protection because you're putting an extra layer of protection, the RAC ICC company, between you and your assets. You also get some estate planning flexibility. Let's assume for a second that Jesus has three kids. So if he doesn't have this set up, in addition to having to pay the tax, he's going to have to split those, his stock portfolio between his three kids. That may require them to sell the shares in order to be able to divvy it up equally. And that can be costly if they're in a lost position or it's something they didn't want to sell yet. Um, and so that can create complications having to, to, to break up the stock portfolio. If your portfolio is in a RAC ICC company, all you do is you give a third of the RAC ICC company to each one of the three kids and the portfolio completely stays intact. That's a big advantage. The other advantage that you get with uh, a RAC ICC company is uh, you get, and what I mean by administrative efficiency is you can put a board of directors in place to manage the stock portfolio that is not you or your kids, right? So if you have a professional money manager or trusted advisors that you trust, you can put those third parties on the board of directors of the RAC ICC company and have them manage the whole portfolio and you and your kids are out of it. That oftentimes is, is a huge draw for people. Now, I promise I'll tell you a little bit about RAC ICC. Obviously, I've already told you some of the benefits of RAC ICC companies here, but RAC ICC stands for the Ras Al Khaimah International Corporate Center. Uh, Ras Al Khaimah is one of the Emirates in the United Arab Emirates, just like Dubai. It's, 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 it's a, a, a state, basically, in, in the UAE. And its international corporate center is its corporate registry for international business companies. Uh, they, it's a very modern registry, very good corporate law, a lot of asset protection, very flexible laws, uh, and again, all these benefits. So, and we can even show you how to transfer your U.S. stocks into your RAC ICC company free of U.S. tax. So, this is a great solution for uh, any non-U.S. persons owning shares in U.S. companies and not wanting those to be subject to a draconian estate tax that most people didn't even know that was gonna be an issue. You wanna maximize what you're gonna leave your heirs. So if you're interested uh, in setting this up or you have any questions about it, shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com uh, or check us out on the web at esquiregroup.com. And again, if you didn't subscribe at the beginning of this video, please click subscribe and check out some of our other videos. Peace.